Hello everyone and welcome back to downloadable content. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look about how to mod Boneworks and install something called the Melon Loader and put files in the right places. It can be a little tough, so I'm gonna to try to speak slowly and keep it nice and simple, so let's dive in. The first thing you're gonna do is go to Google and type in Melon Loader Boneworks Download. Then you will know we're in the right place because this weirdo watermelon pops up. I would recommend downloading the automated installation, so click right here. Now what we need to do is tell Melon Loader what game we're looking to mod. So in order to do that, we go over here where it says Unity Game and click on the Select option, and it's gonna bring up your program files. I already have Boneworks selected, so what you guys are gonna do, you could start with your OS or wherever your Steam is located. So mine's is OS C, then it's in my program files. So I go to double click on program files, go into Steam, double click on Steam, and then go into Steam apps, double click on Steam apps. Then go into my common folder because that's where all my games live. Now you'll see a whole bunch of folders depending on what games you have. So I'm gonna click on Boneworks and then click on Open and then click Boneworks again, click on Open. And finally, I will see the Boneworks application. Nothing else, just click the Boneworks application and make sure that that is running there. That's the quickest way to do it without confusing yourself. I already have mine installed, so I'm not gonna do the reinstallation process, but what you're gonna do is click on install. Yours should say install, not reinstall. Click that, let it run its process, and just kind of wait that out. Once that's done, go ahead and close down the melon loader, and just go ahead and run your game. Click on play. Yours will look something like this, and it'll just load through. Basically, this is melon loader creating the necessary files in your Boneworks file itself. So let this run through. It might actually crash for the first time, and that's completely normal if it crashes. You'll just run the game again. Once Melon Loader has completely run through, I'm going to just close this down. What I'll do is right click on Boneworks, go into Properties, go into Local Files, and browse the local files. So I'm gonna double click on Boneworks, and you should now see where it says your Boneworks data, your logs, your Melon Loader, and other mod files. Now this is where things can get a little bit confusing, so I'll try my best to keep it as simple as possible. Right now we're going to go to a website. The website is called Bonetome.com, and once you're on Bonetome, click on the Boneworks section because that's the game we're modding. To start things off, we're going to start with Code Mods, so we're going to click on Code Mods. One of the most important mods to have is something called the Modding Toolkit. So what we're gonna do is scroll down until we find the modding toolkit. Usually it's on page two, right here, Boneworks Modding Toolkit. So let's click to open. Now in here, it's telling you basically that you need this, that you need this modding toolkit. It lets you do a bunch of different things to do. So we're gonna click download. Once that's downloaded, I'm going to go ahead and open up the zip file and you're gonna see um, a, a text document itself on the actual toolkit. This is pretty much the only file you need is this .dll file. So what we're gonna do is go back to where we installed Melon Loader and you need to put all .dll files in the mods folder. So we're gonna go on the left here where it says mods, double click. And I have a bunch of stuff on the left so ignore that for right now. But we're gonna take right here on the right, Boneworks Modding Toolkit .dll and drag and drop it right into the mods folder, just drag and drop. I'm just gonna X this out because I don't wanna replace anything, but that's what you're gonna do is just drag and drop that right in there. Once you have done that, what I want you to do is go back into Steam and run the game again. Just click on play and let Melon Loader load that mod again. Just click play, let it do its thing, and once it's started up, then you can close Boneworks down again. We can now focus on the next mods we want to download. To keep things simple, I'm gonna find one of the simple code mods. So I wanna find the one that lets me install custom weapons. Now what we're gonna do is click on download the custom items framework. You're gonna see a new looking file here named a DLL file. DLL files have to go into a very specific spot. Now what we're gonna do is go back into that main Boneworks folder where we installed Melon Loader, and we're gonna click on the section that says Mods because DLL files essentially will create other 
files for you. So go into mods. I already have a bunch of things here on my left, so go ahead and ignore what's in there. And what you're going to do is take this custom framework.dll file and drag and drop it right here into the mods folder. All .dll files must go in the mods folder. So drag and drop that right in here. Now that we've installed the framework for the toolkit and the framework for the weapons and items themselves, what I want to do now is download something simple. So I'm gonna go into custom weapons and I'm gonna choose a, a, just a, you know, a random gun that has no other instances. So we're gonna click on this Glock here and then you're just gonna click download. But before you do that, you could always scroll down just to double check that it's not requiring any other mod. That's always important to do. Now I'm just gonna click here on download and you'll see here, there's a dot melon and another dot melon. So these have two new files, right? It's not a DLL, so what do we do? Well, we go back into where we've installed our mods here and right after you've installed the custom weapons framework it now will give you new file folders and that's why it's important to do these in small stages so this will now have a user data option so I'm going to go to user data when installing weapons and items I now go to user data not the mods folder go to user data double click and right here you'll see I have a couple of different folders because I've installed some things that you haven't so don't freak out but what we have done is installed the custom items one. Not a map, not a player skin. So double click on items. And this has dot melon. Weapons and items are called dot melon files. I know it's funny to say out loud. But all you'll do is take both of these here, anything that's a dot melon, especially in one file, you'll just drag and drop them right in here. And there you go. You see them both right there. That's how you're going to install weapons, including firearms, blades, and anything else. And there we go. That is the quote unquote as quick and simple as I can try to make installing this right now. I'm sure there's going to be some other questions, but like I said, take things in small chunks. Install the modding toolkit first, then go install the custom weapons framework, then you can install the custom map framework, and after you've installed these DLL files, just run the game itself. Just click on play and let Melon Loader run and create those files for you in the background. You can create the files manually. You could mess things up, so I don't recommend doing that. Try and keep it simple. But enough about that. I'm getting all long-winded. If you have any other questions, of course, throw a comment down. There's also a link to the Discord. We will try our best to help you out. I know Boneworks is a little bit different to mod. All right, well, enough about that. Leave a comment in the comment session if you have a question. Of course, join the Discord and I will do my best along with my cohorts to answer as many questions as possible. But take things in small chunks, I warn you. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. I'm Rob from Downloadable Content. And other than that, I will see you in the next video.